Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. x squared plus uh, x over 2x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 12. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. x squared plus this x over 2x minus 1 whole squared will become x squared divided by 2x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 12. Now, we can write the denominator of this x squared 1 and we take the LCM of this one and this 2x minus 1 whole squared. The LCM of LCM of 1 and 2x minus 1 whole squared is 2x minus 1 whole squared. And when you divide this LCM by this one, we get this expression. So, we multiply this x squared by this expression. x squared times 2x minus 1 whole squared. This plus will come here. When we divide this expression by this expression, we get 1. 1 times this x squared, x squared is equal to 12. x x squared times we expand this to 2x minus 1 whole squared this will become 4 x squared minus 4 times x plus 1 plus this x squared divided by 2x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 12. Now, this x squared times 4x squared will become 4x to the power 4. x squared times negative 4x, negative 4x cubed. And x squared times the plus 1, plus x squared, plus this x squared divided by 2x minus 1 whole square is equal to 12. x 4x to the power 4 minus 4x cubed. This 1x squared plus 1x squared will become plus 2x squared divided by 2x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 12. Next, 4x to the power 4. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out 2x squared minus 2x squared as common factor and in bracket left, 2x minus 1 divided by 2x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 12. Now, this expression at the left hand side can be written as 4x to the power 4 divided by 2x minus 1 whole squared minus 2x squared times 2x minus 1 divided by 2x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 12. Now, this 4x to the power 4 can be written as 2x squared whole squared divided by 2x minus 1 whole squared minus this 2x minus 1 will be cancelled out with this square and here we are left with 2x squared divided by 2x minus 1 is equal to 12. Now, this expression can be written as 2x squared divided by 2x minus 1 whole squared minus this expression 2x squared divided by 
2x minus 1 is equal to 12. Now, here inside the parentheses, we have same expression 2x squared over 2x minus 1 and here we have same expression 2x squared over 2x minus 1. So, we suppose that let 2x squared over 2x minus 1 is equal to m and we substitute m in this equation then this equation will become m squared minus m is equal to 12. Now, we move this 12 to the left hand side then this will become m squared minus m minus 12 is equal to 0. Now, this quadratic equation is factorable we write this m squared m squared and we split this uh, negative m as we split this negative m as negative 4 times m plus uh, 3 times m minus 12 is equal to 0. From these two terms uh, we can factor out m and in bracket left m minus 4. From these two terms uh, we can factor out plus 3 in bracket left m minus 4 is equal to 0. From here this uh, m minus 4 this m minus 4 is a common factor. So, we factor out this m minus 4 and uh, in bracket left uh, this m and this plus 3 in bracket left uh, m plus uh, 3 is equal to 0. From here either this expression m minus 4 is equal to 0 or this expression m plus 3 is equal to 0. From here we get the value of m is equal to 4 and from this equation we get the value of m is equal to negative 3. Now, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that 2 x squared over 2 x minus 1 is equal to m. We have supposed that 2 x squared over 2 x minus 1 is equal to m. So, when m is equal to 4 then this equation will become 2 x squared over 2 x minus 1 is equal to 4 and if we multiply both sides by 2 x minus 1 this implies that uh, 2 x squared is equal to 4 times uh, 2 x minus 1. Next 2 x squared is equal to 4 times 2 x 8 x and 4 times negative 1 negative 4. We move these two terms to the left hand side this will become 2 x squared minus 8 times x plus 4 is equal to 0. And from here if we divide both sides by 2 this equation will become x squared minus 4 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, this quadratic equation is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative value of b negative 4 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write negative 4 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write 2 divided by 2 times in place of a we write 1. Next x is equal to negative times negative 4 will become positive 4 plus or minus square root of this negative 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1 times 2 8 divided by 2 times 1 2 and x is equal to 
4 plus minus square root of 16 minus 8 h divided by 2 x x is equal to 4 plus minus this square root of 8 will become 2 times square root of 2 divided by 2 and from here 2 1 time 2 2 times 4 and 2 1 time so from here we get the two values of x x1 is equal to 2 plus root 2 and x2 is equal to 2 minus root 2 when m is equal to negative 3 then this equation will become 2 x squared over 2 times x minus 1 is equal to negative 3 and if we multiply both sides by 2 x minus 1 this implies that 2 x squared is equal to negative 3 times 2 x minus 1 next 2 x squared is equal to negative 3 times 2 x negative 6 x negative 3 times negative 1 plus 3 now we move these two terms to the left hand side then this will become 2 x squared plus 6 times x minus 3 is equal to 0 and according to quadratic formula x is equal to negative value of b is 6 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write 6 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 2 times in place of c we write negative 3 divided by 2 times in place of a we write 2 x x is equal to negative 6 plus or minus square root of this is 6 squared will become 36 and negative 4 times 2 negative 8 negative 8 times negative 3 plus 24 divided by 2 times 2 4 next x is equal to negative 6 plus minus square root of 36 plus 24 60 divided by 4 next x is equal to negative 6 plus minus this square root of 60 can be written as a square root of 4 times square root of 15 divided by 4 and x is equal to negative 6 plus minus square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 15 divided by 4 and from here 2, 2 times 4, 2, 3 times 4 and 2, 1 time. So, from here we get the other two solutions x 3 is equal to negative 3 plus root 15 over 2 and x 4 is equal to negative 3 minus root 15 over 2. So, these are the four solutions of this equation.